every day uh, just basically stalk through the town and see if we can find the man who owns that house. We went north from Sirana to Oliana to look at a potentially exciting future project. So we've just driven up um, from Sirana and we are in a very small village in further north in Catalonia, near Oliana, the famous climbing destination, um, and it's called Romanins, this tiny little village. And it's here where um, I've looked at before this like kind of simple house but with this big barn and I've kind of been considering making like a five or six month a year base where you swing in and swing out uh, and then use that as a place to create and then travel the rest of the time. So this um, barn, it's got like a simple house um, and a barn which is a ruin. Uh, and the question is, uh, is it for sale? Apparently, talking to people, it is. It's owned by an old guy, um, but we have no way to contact this guy. Um, so basically it's a matter of trying to find this guy and see if we can uh, contact and, and kind of see if it's for sale and see what price it is. To meet my goals, I need to plan ahead. And at the moment, a big part of this is that I need a base. Not so much to use as a home. My van actually serves that purpose pretty well. More, I really need some workshop and studio space. Whatever form it takes, it has to be sustainable. I looked at rent and industrial space last spring, but it was hard to find something suitable and there would always have been the problem that I'd be paying rent for 12 months while only using it for a few. Because of this, I have taken a much longer term mindset and I am looking for a place to buy that fits my budget, my functional requirements and is also in a place that I would like to spend time. This here is a house which is purportedly for sale, but the barn is kind of quite amazing. So this would be a huge room. This would also be a big room, but check out the view you have that way. This view is also ridiculously epic. The bit in the middle is like um, not buildable, but it's already built on the whole structure's already there. So maybe that's contentable and you could lift that up and block out the bottom floor and have like workshop training space and the upper floor more for work. Mostly I want studio space and workshop space, and maybe training space. Um, but you can see half of this you're knocking down and rebuilding um, vast amount of work. So anyway, so you're gonna look and try and uh, meet the owner, put in an offer in the next few days and just see what happens. And if it's possible, maybe there's a major new project for the channel and, you know, I mean, still probably wanna travel six months of the year, but then a chunk of time here, training, figuring stuff out, we'll see. I am really fortunate to be able to travel anywhere at any time and I'm aware that maybe this won't last forever. Because of this, despite the temptation to go back to places I know are really good, I am aiming to explore new destinations while it is easy to do so. So it gets quite cold in Spain in sort of December, January, but December sticking around because we're probably going to go do family Christmas at home. However, maybe afterwards we go somewhere else and we just did a rundown of all the potential options. Um, so we could go to Morocco, which means driving across from um, south, southern Spain into uh, North Africa. That could be quite cool. There's not so much hard sport climb, it's more trad and bouldering. I mean, we're on a sport mission right now, trying to get really fit. So maybe that's not suitable. Um, like Laos, obviously Asia's good, but I've been to like, um, Tonsai so many times, I'd sooner not go back there <laughs> this year. Um, and I'm trying to just go to new places if possible. Uh, Turkey, Leonardus, I mean, it's not very far, but it's definitely an option. But then one thing we were thinking is maybe we should go to the Middle East. Mm. Um, and then we're looking at the Middle East and there's like, 
a friend of mine, um, Kelly, he was I was hanging out with him in South Africa. He messaged me. He's like, oh, I'm in Israel. And he showed me these pictures, steep climbing, sport climbing, quite a lot of it. Really enthusiastic locals we hear. So maybe we're going to go to Israel. I mean, we can even mm. go to Tel Aviv for New Year's. Mm, mm. That'd be fun. That so, would be fun. <laughs> it's probably Tel Aviv. And then just like, yeah, yeah. pumped out our mind and steep Israeli sport climbing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Israel's a strong contender. It's somewhere pretty different. Yeah, I've never been like... Excluding Laob has never been to the Middle East, so I think that could be cool. So yeah, Israel, maybe, Israel. probably, highly likely. Here we come. I was keen to find the owner of this barn, and it turns out that he goes there once or twice a week for gardening. With a van, it's easy. We just staked out the place. If you want something, I think there is no harm in being dedicated to the course. Every day, uh, just basically stalk through the town and see if we can find the man who owns that house. But he does turn up apparently sometimes, so hoping um, that we do find him. Got a puppy friend. Come to play ball. Uh, it turns out, not today. You can tell if his gate's open or not. Um, so another day, I guess we'll try again. Hi Darren, how you doing? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. This new business venture where I am creating a remote sales team was having some teething issues. Yeah, and, and, and that's fine, but I've already changed it and dropped the software and all the stuff I set up for that to cut that out. Mostly it's down to communication and the stress their current team has and how we fit into it. I'm still keen to make it work, um, but at the same time, I'm not afraid to drop it if it doesn't work out. Like anything, it is worth pushing for, but to a point. If this doesn't look like it will enable my long-term objectives, then I can drop it in a fairly unemotional way. When things don't work out, I always feel that I've taken away some new knowledge. So in a way, I feel like I always win. So we're gonna go to Coldenago, which is like a nice climbing area, really, really close to where we are. Day with us. Hi, and Tiger is hiding. It's no. like a really <laughs> scared dog, which looks like Dobby. Yourself. Dobby! <laughs> I hope you guys are gonna put some top ropes for me. Yay! They lure the way, they clear the way to my heart. Trying to buy a house, working out if it's possible to do so while avoiding becoming a slave to debt hiring people and integrating them into a team that has other priorities has definitely created some stress into my life. So it is good to get out and do the things that all this effort facilitates and connect back to the reason why I live this life. How's it going? Good. <laughs> yeah. I just came from Carmen. Oh, really? And, um, yeah, this is the number of, of Chelsea. Mm -hmm. And this is the number of his home place. Oh, really? Okay, cool. And it's, it's working. So this is the guy who owns the house. So it's really cool. Okay, awesome. That's good to have. So maybe he'll be here tomorrow. And we're here tomorrow. Maybe. So. Despite the importance of planning and the effort involved to create sustainable infrastructure for your projects. With a bit of perseverance, it is always surprising what can be achieved in a short period of time. Struggling to find alternate. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs>